Hey, pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and a happy Thursday to you. This is going to be a quick video on our Philadelphia Eagles schedule and examining the schedule. At the end of May, Andrew and I, on our True Philadelphian Sportscast, if you would be so kind to go check that out, did a schedule video on which we both went through the schedule and gave our records. So please go check that out. I'm going to also reshare that later on today and if i can figure out a way because that was before we started recording stuff through skype i could get it up on youtube for the audio i'm also going to do that but i'm not sure if i can pull the audio clip from anchor and put it on youtube so we'll see you there but anyway we're getting into our schedule i started us off three and oh because we play the Redskins, of course, which is in Washington, but I still think we'll beat the Redskins. We play the Rams here, the Bengals here, and then the 49ers on the road. So I think we're going to go 3-0 and because that only tough game is against the Rams. I think we beat them. I think our first loss is against the 49ers in San Francisco. They're really tough to play at home. And they just keep getting better each year. Each player on that team that's young just keeps growing. Similarly to our guys. But they're just one of the toughest teams at home. And I don't know how the fans are going to be. So that plays in. But if there is any fan capacity. San Francisco is one of the tougher teams at home. Even if there isn't. It's still a comfortability team. Or a comfortability thing for the team. And... Then after that, we have the Steelers on October 11th as a 1 p.m. game. And against the Steelers, I gave us a W, even though it's in Pittsburgh. Against the Steelers, I believe we'll pull out a close, close win in that back-to-back -back tough weeks against the Steelers and Ravens. And then the Ravens at home, even though we're at home, would actually be the team that we lose to because the Ravens are just so dumb. The team's stacked. They're loaded. They barely have any weaknesses on that team, if any. You can't really think of any on the, off of the top of your head. So that team is a team I see us losing to. And then, of course, we have the Giants. We are not losing to the Giants. And we are also not at home in my opinion, losing to the Cowboys. And then we are not on the road either losing to the Giants. I believe we're going to sweep the season series of the Giants. And then against the Browns, we're going to also beat them in Cleveland, I believe. So we are at now week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We are at week 10 now. So we are moving on to week 11 where we play Seattle. And I also gave us a W there because we are at home. That's what really helped there, uh, the comfortability of the home stadium, even if there's not fans. But again, we don't know. The city clarified and said there could still be some fans. There might be a waiver, whatever have you. Um, but... Since it's at home, I give the Eagles the favorite there. I think that's going to be a close game. I think we win that one. The following week against the Packers, I think that's one of the games we end up losing this year. And that's a game that's in Green Bay. If that was here again, I would give us the notch a little bit. But since it's in Green Bay, I think Rodgers is going to have a bounce back year, especially knowing Jordan loves right behind him. So I think we're going to lose that game. And now moving on to against the Saints, which is at home. I have us in these next three games going 3-0 and against the Saints, Cardinals, and the Cowboys. I have us, yes, sweeping the Cowboys in the season series and then winning that final game, the second to last week of the season. And then I actually have our second loss, believe it or not, against Washington because our second loss of the backstretch of the season, I should say, against Washington 
to total four losses for the season to go 12 and four, which is absolutely fantastic for our Eagles. I put that loss there because at that point, you might be at a spot where you're not going to be playing a lot of your guy. And Washington's going to be at a spot where they're not competing this year anyway, so they're going to always have their guys in to have them develop and keep getting better. So at that point, I think that's just going to be a game that's almost a watch for us where if we're going to be able to finish at 12-4, and four, I think we're going to easily have the division by then. And then unless if we can still have the best record in the NFC, then that would become more debatable. But already having three losses, I think that would be debatable already if you could have the best record. So I would say that the Eagles are going to go 12-4 and four and lose that final game to the Redskins because we'll probably have Sudfeld starting. If not, maybe Jalen Hurts to see what he can do back there. But 12-4 and four is a fantastic record. We're definitely going to beat the Cowboys with that because we're also going to sweep them in the season series, I believe. And this is going to be a fantastic year for our birds. Adding Darius Slay, having Jackson come back, Deshaun and Malik Jackson. And then you have, obviously, you drafted Rager. He's very good. Quez Watkins has been working with Wentz for a while. I just feel this is going to be a very, very good year for us. Jeffrey, nobody's talking about him. Maybe that'll be great. That's the thing that can be a great blessing in disguise. Maybe he can come in and do actually pretty well this year. Who knows? We'll see what happens. I really like this team. Miles Sanders is set to take off, So, and he already has impressed and done so well. Now he's set to just really take flight. I believe this team's going to go places. I think this team, as long as Carson stays healthy, obviously that's a big, big, big caveat. Now that we don't have a veteran fallback, we have Sudfeld, who, has, Sudfeld who hasn't played that much, and Jalen, who obviously hasn't played at all. So I believe 12-4, and four, as long as Carson stays healthy, if Carson doesn't stay healthy and is out a few games, that'll probably bring us to 10-6 and six if he's out for a couple games. And then 9-7 and seven potentially, which I still think we could win the division if he's out for a decent amount. But I believe we're going to go 12-4. and four. I believe Carson hopefully is going to have a fantastic season this year and be able to play like he did last year and then just not have an unfortunate injury happen in that first playoff game. So this has been a short about seven minute video on the Eagles and their schedule review. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Peace out.